Hey, it's Angela. Let's talk about creating a best of year folder. Now, this is a great way for your students to look through all the posts that they have made into Seesaw and really pull some of them into a folder highlighting their best work. So what I'm going to do is in the wrench class settings in the upper right, I'm going to tap that as a teacher and I'm going to show you a couple things you need to have in place before you try this. So first I'm going to scroll down and under folders, I'm going to go to manage folders and make sure you have created a folder. This one is called best of third grade. I actually added a period at the beginning of the folder name. So it appears at the top of this list. I'm going to X out of that. I also need to make sure that this step says students and teachers. Next, I want to go up here and make sure enable item editing right here is turned on for my students because they're going to be adding posts that are already in their Seesaw journal to a folder. Last, in student sign-in mode, you need to be in one-to-one -one devices or email Google sign-in. No worries if you're using shared devices, it's easy peasy to change to one-to-one -to -one devices so your students can still do this. Okay, now I'm signed into Seesaw as a student, and now I'm able to go through all of my posts and decide which ones I want to put in this best of folder. So you'll notice this folder icon appears under the post, so I can just tap that as a student, choose to put it in best of third grade, tap the green check, and you'll notice it goes back to the teacher saying that it's waiting for approval. This is happening because the student has edited a post that you have already approved. Also, just as fair warning, this might be a little confusing. If you have approved a post, families have seen it and commented on it, you might at a glance think, oh my gosh, how are families seeing this before I have approved it? Keep in mind, they're just it's coming back to you because they have added a folder to it. Once you have student work in that folder, if they go to their name and they tap the folder, they can also filter to just that folder of work. So they're gonna see what they have selected as the posts in their best of folder. Now as a teacher, if you wanna get really fancy, you can also tap the student's name, then filter to their folder of best of. And because I'm on the website app.seesaw.me on a computer, I have the option now to print a PDF of all the work in this folder. So this might come in handy if you have to have a physical copy of a selection of a portfolio to pass on, or if you want to send this home even as a keepsake for your student. I can view this PDF and you'll notice that it comes with a nice little cover here and it has a selection of their best of posts. 